There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm back with some more Path of Exile. I think last time we played, I got to like level 11 or something. What's up, Gary? Oh, I got to level 12. Sorry, my bad. All right. It's a little loud on my end. Hold on a second. Let me know if it's loud on your end. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we're level 12. Um, I'm still following a guide. We are making, I forget what it's called. Um, we are making a specific build. Which build was it? It was the Bone Shatter Slayer. Bone Zone, exactly. <laughs> All right. So we're making the Bone Shatter Slayer. I'm level 12. Okay, so this is good. It shows through level 15. And uh, let's see, what are my quests? Uh, talk to Tarkley for your reward. Travel to Prisoner's Gate. Okay, the Prisoner's Gate, that's right. We, we defeated Brutus last time. That's the last thing I did, I think, was defeat Brutus. Talk to, okay, so we gotta talk to this guy the for a few things. Free of his own prison. Well, since you're so bloody determined to cheat the britches off death, you better have one of these. I'm trying to keep up with the lore as I go. When they write the song about you, just be sure to mention that it was Tarkley who taught you everything you know. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to remember, learn the lore as I go, but I haven't been... Oh, wow, my inventory's full. I haven't been very good at that. The max roll site UI is great for getting your feet wet. Yeah, it was a little bit confusing at first, though. I'm not going to lie. Wait a second. Hold on. I just messed up. Hold on. I just messed up my... There we go. There we go. That's what I want. Okay. Hold on. I'm messing with my <laughs> settings, as you can tell. Okay. Yeah, I found it kind of confusing at first, but then I got the hang of it. So... Blink arrow fires an arrow at the target destination. Um, when the arrow lands, you are teleported to it, and a clone is summoned at your old location. The clone is a minion that... Wow, that's cool. I don't think I can use that, but that's cool. Leap slam, jump through the air, damaging and knocking back enemies with your weapon where you land. That's a very barbarian-esque skill. <laughs> enemies with enemies you would land on are pushed out of the way. It requires an axe, mace, scepter, sword. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna follow the guide. I just want to read them. Whirling blades, dive through enemies, dealing weapon damage. If dual wielding, okay, we're not doing that one. Precision, cast an aura that grants accuracy and critical strike chance to you and your allies. That's cool. Uh, vitality, cast an aura that grants life regeneration. Performs a war cry, taunting all nearby enemies to attack the user. Perform a war cry, taunting nearby enemies to attack the user and exerting subsequent attacks. Okay. Uh, let's see what the guide says. Where is it? There it is. Uh... War Banner, which is what I got last time. Name Support. Maybe I don't need... Oh, Leap Slam. Okay, so we do use Leap Slam. Okay. Sounds good to me. Uh, where is it? Leap Slam. Now, now that you've drained that passage, best I warn you about something. Okay. I was running down a wounded rower one night's eve. All right. When I glimpsed something in that waterlogged cavern, mm -mm. looked a bit like a sand spitter, only okay. the size of a bloody ox. Uh -oh. I, I didn't like the sand spitters; they were annoying. Somewhere. If you're going that way, then do us a favor: spill the old shield crab's guts before he gets hungry <laughs> and comes looking okay. for us. Okay, we can do that. Wait, I get another one? No, these are all different. Okay, wait a second; these are all different. Hold on. All right, we have Sniper's Mark, Curse a Single Enemy, increasing the damage they take from projectiles. That might be good. Ancestral Protector. Summons an Ancestor Totem, which attacks enemies with, uh, with melee strikes while you're near it. Oh, that's cool. Being near it grants you more attack speed. That's really cool. Decoy Totem. Summon a Totem that taunts nearby monsters. 
Puncture punctures enemies, causing a bleeding debuff, which will be affected by modifiers. Okay. Attacks enemies with a powerful melee strike, which grants fortification, reducing your damage taken from hits. Okay. Casting one reserve mana to carry a banner. I have that one. Blood and Sand. Cast a buff that grants different bonuses to melee skills depending on your stance. Okay, let's see. Let me get rid of some of these. It's getting... It's getting confusing. Hold on. Uh, okay, here we go. Faster attack support, maim support, ancestral protector. That's what I thought. That's what I thought it was. Okay, so so we want ancestral protector. Uh, yeah. So summons an ancestor totem which attacks enemies with melee strikes while you're near it. Being near it grants you more attacks. That's awesome. Okay. Wait, let me let me put. Uh, okay, so these are the two we want to use. Oh, another one. <laughs> Stop giving me stuff. I don't know which one of these. Let's see. Why do they have an icon? Learn about which support gems work well with this skill. Steel skin. Strengthen your defense, greatly reducing damage taken from hits for a short duration. Uh, steel skin is a guard utility skill that blocks an amount of damage. Once depleted, the damage will go through to you. Guard skills do not benefit much from support gems. And steel skin can be used well without supports. Okay. What about this one? Dash. Performs a series of quick teleports towards a targeted location. If using the attack in place option, uh, the direction is reversed. Shares a cooldown with other blink skills. Does the guide even say about this one? I don't even know if it does. Hold on. I don't see it. Is this like a later ability? A uh, later one, maybe? I don't see it on here at all. Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter which one I pick. It looks like we won't be using it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be using this one. So I'll select um, what I'll probably do. Might not have you use a guard skill early because they nerfed the ability to bind them to left mouse button. Oh, really? You can only do it on left mouse button? That's weird. Okay. All right, let me go back down. I'm just going to pick the dash one. That one sounds better to me. We're, just gonna, we're going to take dash. Okay. Stay sharp. God, he gave me so much stuff. What's up, Gravity? Nothing much. We're just chilling. You can't put them on LMB anymore. Oh, you can't put them on left mouse button. Oh, okay. All right. Let, let me, um... Oh, shit. I just accidentally used my orb of respect. Okay, whatever. I meant to put it in my... In my stash. Um... Power amulet. That in there. Amber Ambulance. Let me identify this. Plus 22 to strength. Gain one mana per enemy killed. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't think I need that. Because the one I have right now gives me 25% cold resistance. Oh, but I don't... I don't have minions. No, so this amulet is better. Let me see how this impacts my... My... Uh, my... Um, DPS. That's that's the real test. That's going to be the real test. Okay. Alright, so if I put this on... Uh, so right now my DPS is 94 per second. It goes up to 96. I mean, that's not a big difference. And this, this one does increase my mana regeneration rate. So maybe I want to keep what I have. Because it, it lets me attack more. Uh, okay, I'm going to put everything away. I don't need... We're gonna sell all this. Um, I don't think we need Vigilant Strike. We don't need Dash. Orb of Augmentation, Orb of Transmutation. Large Flask, we'll put that there. I don't know what to do with these flasks just yet. Um, okay, was there anything I wanted to keep in here? I'm gonna keep the Cold Resistance. We'll put the Ring 
I'll put any gear that I might use later on in the game in stash tab four. Make it to Brutus tonight? I already beat Brutus. We beat Brutus uh, last time, I think, didn't we? I think I beat Brutus last time, but maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. I'm pretty sure I did. All these are worse than what I'm using, right? Yeah. All right, we're gonna sell all of these. And then I'll put these in here. Um, anything else that I might use later? Yeah, just now. Okay. Now I gotta figure out how to socket these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I beat Brutus. Uh, I hope I'm not lying about that. Pretty sure I did, we'll find out. So I gotta figure out war banners on my boots. Volley support is on there just because I can't put it on here. All right, I guess I'll put these two on Ancestral Protector. I'll put it on my chest and then I'll also put Leap Slam on my chest. Okay. I kind of like that your abilities are based on the gems you have. Like, does the skill tree not have any abilities you unlock? This is just um, stat increases. And all your abilities come from gems? Because that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. All right, let me sell all this stuff in my inventory. Death is welcome. All right, she's going to give me a bunch of stuff for that. God hasn't abandoned right, stash these. Uh, okay, sorry. I just got to get the busy work done, then I can get moving. Wait, I didn't sell this. Wait, hold on. What? Did I miss that somehow? Yes. There we go. Farewell. All right, we're ready to adventure. I'm ready. What's up, Dubby? Don't for. Oh, you're right. Leveling gems. I completely forgot. Thank you. Passive skill trees, all active abilities are gems. That's really cool. I like that. I actually really do like that. Uh, so we need to go back to the prison. So I'm going to use the waypoint. Uh, prisoner's gate. I think this is where we were. This is past Brutus, right? I got to figure out my new skills. Wait, what the fuck just killed them? All right, so wait, where's my war banner? I gotta remember my rotation here. I've also got some new skills, so I gotta learn how to include them. So I have my war banner, um, ancestral protector, which summons a totem, um, which attacks enemies with melee strikes while you're near it. Being near it grants you more attack speed. Okay, so 45 to 84 physical damage, summons a totem, 11% more attack speed, 38 maximum life, one maximum toman. Totem. Totem lasts 12 seconds. 50% increased totem. Okay, so then we... Totem's down. Uh, and then leap through the air, damaging and knocking back enemies where the weapon lands. Alright, we, we are set. This is looking good. We got some grinding to do when we head back over to Sod. I know, we do. <laughs> uh, I know, I know. I was, I was grinding my alt over the weekend a little bit. Just a little bit. Right, I have, I'm, it's gonna take me a second to get used to these new abilities. I'm, I'm gonna forget to use them. My game lag there. What is it? Okay, there, F1 to see my stats. I, I'm gonna play Sod sometime this week, I think. Travel to the flooded depths, follow the Emperor Road. Is this the right way? No wait, how do you how do I open the map again? Yeah, we need to go south, right? Can I zoom out or is this the whole map? can't go this way. All right, it's got to be the other way then. That's the Act 1 map. Okay. Yeah, please don't judge me. I'm going to make a lot of stupid mistakes. <laughs> 
Flame Helion. Oh yeah, definitely get that. Nice. It's dirty work. I don't but fully understand this mechanic yet. I know it lets you build weapons, but that's about it. Craft weapons. Oh, I definitely feel that attack speed increase. That's nice. Okay, we got a champion, or like a magic. Essentially a champion. From D2. Okay. How do I heal one? Yeah, that's right. I guess I didn't really need to. Whalebone rapier. I don't need that. Chest plate, 82. Mine is better. I'm just gonna keep going this way. I hope it's the right way. Boy, oh, you can leap pretty fucking far. Damn. Holy shit. <laughs> the banner is so good. If you get enough kills while you're carrying it, it's so good. exploring for now. Ooh, another corpse. Nice. Bearded Shaman. Is PoE2 out? No, not yet. I think the, uh, the beta is going to be coming out this summer. And then I think the expectation is that PoE2 will come out uh, next year. I've just been kind of in the mood to play a good ARPG. Come on, hit him. God damn, I'm strong already. Let me tell you something. Following a guide is where it's at. I already feel very strong. Still remember how to parry in Sekiro? Ooh, good question. <laughs> Probably, maybe not. I don't know. It's been like a month since I played Sekiro. I played it last time on stream. That's another game I don't necessarily want to just drop. If I'm going like the complete wrong direction, somebody please let me know. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to follow that road that I was on. I'm gonna go back the other way. I think I'm supposed to be following this road. And I also missed this chest. Clears who map? Yeah, that's this way. I don't know what you mean. Flame Helion. That's what I like about Diablo 3. I oh, you clear every map, I see. I guess I could do that. It wouldn't hurt. I'd get experience. Oh my god, okay. Alright. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I live I live somehow. Ungala? What is his name? Ungala? It's a boss, okay. <laughs> I don't know how I lived that. I got so close to death. Armor scrap. Take that. Uh, fire fur round shield. Take that. Hold on. I'm not done. Uh, early games and ARPGs are always kind of rough because you have to look at everything. 41 armor. Holy shit, that's actually better. Wait, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that for sure. And what's my current belt? Uh, I think what I'm wearing is probably better. Yeah, what I'm wearing is probably better. XP hungry. What's up, Tayona? You live, you die, you live again. That is a cycle of ARPGs. It is, especially if you play on hardcore, which by the way, I'm not. I'm not doing hardcore, not yet. Not for my, not for my first playthrough. That would be a, a recipe for, for frustration. Damn. God, just die. I want to level up. Thank God I've made that mistake. Yeah. 
No, I uh, I didn't do hardcore in, D in Diablo 2 until I, I had beaten the game on a regular playthrough. And then I did hardcore. My teammates, ma my teammates hated me. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. That would suck. I'd already have lost his character. I died to corpse explosion on a chest. Okay, let me get this level. Hold on, let me see what the guide says. Uh, so the guide wants me to go down here. So we already got this one, I think. Art of the Gladiator. Two-handed melee damage. Okay. Alright, we already got that one. So we do Destroyer. 25% increased physical damage with two-handed melee weapons. Attacks with two-handed melee weapons deal 25%. Increased damage with ailments. 5% increased attack speed with two-handed melee weapons. Wow. 25% increased stun duration. Wow, this is really good. Holy shit. Damn. Okay, they're all dead. I don't know what I'm doing. They're all dead. Get my banner back out. I already feel so powerful. Uh, I forgot about these. I constantly forget about my gems. There we go. That's going to be something I forget a lot, probably. Orb of transmutation. Oh, I missed. Damn it. Grab that. I really do like the flow of this game. It's smooth. Wait, what's this? What's this? Is this a boss? This is a boss, isn't it? Uh, tribal chest. Nothing. Tribal chest. Portal scroll. Nice. You're only in Act 1. When you get to Act 3, you would understand the pain. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's going to get worse. Thermetic, thermetic seal, thermetic seal. I think I said that right. I don't have it. It seems to require a key of some kind. I think there's always a way to check the zone level. It's easy to hover over by killing everything. Oh, it's easy to over level by killing everything. Yeah, I might be a little bit over leveled. I'm level 12. Okay, so, wait, so how do I get, oh, wait a second. Do I need to go find the key somewhere? Or do I already have it in my inventory? No, actually. Um, uh, wait, how do I compare? What's the button to compare again? Is it, isn't it left shift or alt? I forget how to compare this to what I'm currently wearing. Control. It's not working. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. That was weird. Alt equals detailed mod description. Okay. Just find another path right now. Got to find a different path through the forest. Oh, okay. So this one has a lot more armor, but it doesn't have... Is it... I'm going to wear it. I'm going to wear it. I think it's better. I think it's better. We'll sell this shield. I'm not going to identify it. I want to save my scrolls. All right, we're gonna go find another path then. I probably should have kept going that other way then. Looks like we have to go back anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll just go back this, this direction that we were at. That was probably the right way to go. That. Oh, that's the corpse that I that I had the guy take. That's right. Oh, you can jump down off ledges. That's cool. I like that. I was half expecting you get stopped right there. Oiled vest. No, we don't. Whoa, that one has three connected. No, I don't want that. Never mind. Oh, boss. Wait, is that a boss or is that an elite? Die. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die or is it gonna die? It's gonna die. 
<laughs> I just face tanked that. Okay. Spiked club, crude bow, and... Wait. Oh, it's a mace. Damn it. I really, really, really want an axe with all three connected. That's what I need right now. Basically, there are like three main stats of gear. Energy shield, armor, and evasion, if I remember correctly. All armors are uh, the either one stat or a mix between two stats. Interesting. Okay. I see. Superior short bow. Don't need that. Large life flask. I'll take that. Oh, I see it right here. Find another way to the forest. I see it at the bottom of the screen. I just noticed that. Let me get my banner out. I'm going to fill up my whole inventory with these things. I keep missing with my leap. I'm not very good at that yet. I'm really not very good at that yet. Alright, scroll of wisdom. Uh, okay. I died on one of these last time. I have learned from my mistakes. Let me, let me be a smart player. Okay. Spreads caustic ground. Okay. I've learned from my mistakes. <laughs> I'm not making the same one again. I'm just gonna do it. I don't know how deadly caustic ground is, but we're gonna find out. Oh my god! Alright, that was no big deal. That was no big deal. I, except I can't walk back that way now. Scaled vest? No. Plank kite shield, large life flask. I didn't know you could identify the challenge by a scroll. So I'm a noob here? <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't know that. <laughs> Somebody told me that last time. Otherwise I would not have known. I didn't know and I died. This doesn't really look like a forest, I gotta say. If I'm supposed to be finding my way through a forest, this is a pretty, this is a pretty um, dead looking forest. that. It's colored that way because it's a chromatic orb at the vendor. Wait, what's colored what way? Oh. oh! I can just keep doing it. There's no cooldown other than just mana. Uh, this one? Okay, I should take that then because I can sell that for a good amount. Right? That's worth selling. Uh, ew. Oh, that's those nasty things. Fetid shamblers, roas, water elementals, sea spawn, and ghosts. I am going to turn, oh, I don't have any. Oh, I thought I could turn them into rats. Oh, the scale vest was. Okay, I fucked up. I took the wrong thing. Whatever, it's okay at this point. Damn it. I almost feel sorry for these doomed sea dogs. I do too. These things are fucking nasty looking. I hate them. I hate these. <laughs> they are a very, very uh, well designed enemy. <laughs> Very freaky. Orbit transmutation, nailed fist. I think I'm going the right way. I don't actually know. It said find another way through the, find another way to the forest. Okay, not through the forest. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I thought it was saying finding an, find another way through the forest, and I was like, this doesn't look like a forest. Okay, sometimes my leap is a good, uh, a good skip. Oh, what's up, Alaska? Thanks for the sub, man. I don't know why it didn't trigger my alert. I shouldn't have that set up. I appreciate that. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Calm stands before us. 
Why that didn't it share the alert, the though? Sea. He sings, calls, screams to our ancestors to come to our aid. He so, okay, I remember Kaum. Kaum. He offers them gifts of old, a feast of heart and mind, muscle and marrow, cooked in the fire and rock of this angry land. Okay. So it's an old ritual. Oh, they're eating their own people. Only in our king can we trust this return. Oh wow, holy shit, they're eating themselves. Fuck. That's dark. Who are they fighting? I don't remember who they were fighting from last time. Zombies, of course. Oh, I'm slowed. Oh, they leave like a tar behind, I see. I will say I do so far. I do really like the environments in this game. They seem uh, varied. You know, I like how varied they are, and I like the tone. It's nice. I like it. It's like dark. It's got that dark feeling of D2 almost. Not quite as dark as D2, but it's similar. It's definitely similar to D2, but not quite as dark. Feeling. D2 has kind of a hopeless feeling to it sometimes. The Curry, Kaum's people are basically uh, New Zealand native people who fought against the Eternal Empire. Oh, and okay, so in the Eternal Empire, the people who essentially dumped their exiles on this island. And the Kaum are the are the natives that originally lived here. I see. Pee has some very dark lore. Ooh, I'm excited then. I love lore. I would love to I would love to be able to do this playthrough and actually absorb some of the lore. Alright, let's see. Calm is gone. Our king has taken our finest five hundred warriors and descended into the depths of Rayclast. Okay, I don't know what Rayclast is. A vision, a gift from the is that the island we're on? Calm. Yes, it must be. Deceived. The Calm is gone. <laughs> was a gift from the black spirit. It has conquered Calm. The black spirit has conquered. Calm has been deceived. Come, has it has conquered. Come, <laughs> we will take those that are left, 500 forgotten families, and carry them back to their true homes. Okay, to Nga Maka Nui. Here, here he will lead us back to the dawn. Okay, so, so come, come messed up. Come got corrupted or something. Ray class is the damned island convicts are sent to, including you. Ah, I see. Oh, I bet Kaum, I bet whatever he did, whatever ritual he did might be the reason for the undead. For for the for the dead coming back to life, maybe. Maybe. I could be wrong. I have 50 kills right now on this banner. It is gonna go crazy when I drop it. When I drop this banner, it's gonna be crazy. Up. I, I kind of wasted that. I should not have wasted that. I just wanted to see how good it'd be. Um, I think it is an analogy on British Empire sending their convents to the U.S. and Australia. Oh, de I definitely. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're definitely right. Just wait until you learn more about Malachi. Oh my God, Malachi is always an evil name. If somebody's named Malachi, they're evil. That's an evil name. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a Malachi in a movie that was not evil. Children of the Corn. Uh, is this is this worth taking for a, um, one of those orbs, the chromatic orbs? He's the guy with the cool voice from last stream. Oh, that's right. I did like his voice. Okay, it's not red green blue it's highlighted because it's three link sockets okay i'm gonna struggle a little bit with colors i think in this game red green blue okay. red green blue i gotta remember that armor 
for scrap. Take that. Turn on socket notches in the UI. I thought I looked at that last time. Where is that? Change it to large pattern. Okay. Visual sensitivity. Items always show sockets, socket notches, large pattern. Okay, let's see what that looks like. It might help. As some of you may know, I am stunted in the color department. Oh boy, who's that? Why is she shiny? Why that bitch shiny? What you doing? <laughs> Oh god, she's slowing me down, okay. The only thing I'm noticing is that when I call my totem, it like, it places it really far away from me. Goat's horn. Why is this colored yellow like that? Is that because it's unique? It places at your cursor. Oh, rare. Okay, so it's rare, so I should take that. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a second. These have... Hold on. These might be better than what I'm wearing. 23% increased armor and energy shield. Those are much better than what I'm wearing. Uh, but I do lose the 7% increased rarity of items found. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what's more important at this point. I'm not really dying. So I don't know if I need the increased armor and energy shield. I think I need to go with it, because it is technically an upgrade. Oh no, now I can't fit my... We'll put it there. We really need to put it in here. Support skill that fire projectiles from the user does not affect projectiles fired from other locations as secondary effect. Does not support skills that fire projectiles in a spiral. So this is a support skill. So it needs to be connected to splitting steel in order to work. Like I can't use this if I'm if it's not connected. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but this has to be connected to this because it's a support skill, right? I believe. I believe that's correct. Yeah, okay. I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Ooh. Okay, we got ranged ghosts, sea spawn, shield crabs, drifting eyes, sea witches? What the fuck is that thing? That looks like a slowed. Ghosts and savage crabs. It's material from Final Fantasy VII. Oh, it's materia from Final Fantasy VII. I never played Final Fantasy VII. I tried to play the, uh... Off stream, I tried to play the original Final Fantasy VII. I didn't get very far into it. Wait, I gave away my heart on the promise of a lie. It's a song. Merville is singing to me. Also, I can level up. Hold on, let me level up really quick. Uh, so next one is two-handed attack speed. Sailor's skin? Welcome, husband. We knew in our hearts that you would find us. Come, Doreso. Ambrosia and Amarissa must meet their father. Come, my love. Oh, shit. Return to your family. We got a ghost. Marvale is a siren. Ooh, we got a ghost. A sea witch. A sea ghost. Angry at her late husband. He must have been a piece of shit. Went to get cigarettes and never came back. And now she haunts his cave. 
Doreso was the guy your character looked up to. Was that the dead guy on the beach at the beginning? I don't know if I looked up to him or not. Ugh. And another headache created by not containing the buddy in the pants. <laughs> True. <laughs> Treasure chest. Uh oh. Okay. Wow. Holy shit. I gotta be careful. Wait, who is this? Is this her? Amarissa. Oh no, this is the daughter. Oh, she's like a squid. Oh, she's a sea witch. That's what the, that's what it said. Sea witches were. I see. Lapis uh, amulet. Twenty-two to intelligence. I'll take it. I'm not gonna use it. Oh shit! So he, how? Who is this Doreso guy? Having children with sea witches, squid creatures. That's nasty, man. <laughs> that's an interesting choice. In an interesting choice. Get my banner out. I always forget that. Okay. I do like the music here. It's really cool. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's like a... It sounds like a siren. It's like singing quietly in the background. It's kind of a cool effect. We're not here to kink shame anybody. Oh, I am. <laughs> Your guy looks like he's LARPing as a conquistador. Yeah, he kind of does, actually. But I think he's confused with his weapon. The weapon doesn't make any sense. PoE's music is full of bangers. Marvale wasn't a siren when Doreso fell in love with her. Oh, so the heart, the heartache transformed her. I see. Classic tales, oldest time. Uh, 13 to maximum energy shield, 10 to strength. Uh, regenerate 1.3 life per second, 24 to maximum mana. 8% to lightning resistance, 9% increased. Oh my god, these are both really good. That axe looks like a rock on a stick, Minecraft style. It really does. It does not look very effective. Uh, all right. This is an interesting choice. I think what I'm wearing now is better. I think what I'm wearing now is better. My my rustic sash versus chain belt. Zero confusion. Have you not played in Skyrim as a heavy armored two handing uh, two handing a freaking mall sneaking rogue? <laughs> Probably, I probably have when I was young. <laughs> when I was a kid and I played Skyrim, I just maxed out everything. My build made no sense. But it still worked because it's Skyrim. I'm gonna keep wearing what I'm wearing. I think what I'm wearing might be slightly better. <laughs> it is funny how in Skyrim you can be like fully plated out in metal, like a full heavy armor, uh, war hammer, and sneak up on people and assassinate them. That is pretty funny. I'm still trying to finish my 100 stat man in Morrowind. Ooh, that's a good game I want to play again for soon. I've never actually beaten the story of what is going on over here. Uh, am I going to die here? Okay, no, I'm fine. I've never actually fully, fully beaten more when is what I was trying to say. Oh, wait, what is this? Lightning Shrine. Oh, okay, so this is like Shrines in Diablo. I see. Cool. This is really cool. I got like three magic skills left to 100 level. I know I'm wasting my shrine. No, this is worse. This is worse. What I have now is better. Okay. 
I know that was a big waste of my shrine. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm pinned. Oh, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. starting to think there's more to life than prize or Oh, perish. I'm good. Okay, we go here next. What does it do? Wait, what does it do? 12% increased physical damage with two-handed melee weapons. Attacks with two-handed melee weapons deal 12% increased damage with ailments. Okay, pretty basic. Uh, pretty straightforward there. Not much to really understand. Um, okay. I'm just trying to make sure I'm reading the uh, sockets correctly on these. I'm gonna look at the map. I feel like this place is probably really easy to get lost in. Are the notches helpful? I think so. I don't know if I'm looking at the right thing. Next time I see one, I wanna make sure I'm looking at the right thing. Oh wait, my banner. Okay. Uh. Oh, I think I'm getting close. I'm so cold Embrace and lonely. Me. Embrace me. Ew, no. Did I miss one of her children? I didn't miss one of her children, did I? I wait for his return. Duresso, I wait. A good wife. Damn, Duresso, you fucked up. She does sound like a good wife. Orb of Scouring. What the fuck is that? Removes all modifiers from an item. Oh, interesting. Okay. And I missed. Okay. I might die. No, I'm good. I'm good. God damn. I feel like my abilities are overpowered. And I know it's because I'm following a guide. If I was not following a guide, I'd probably be struggling right now. Alright. Artisan strong box. Let's see what's in here. 43% increased quantity of contained items. Explodes. <laughs> it just explodes. So when I click this, am I going to die? It just says explodes. <laughs> Run! Yeah, it just explodes. Okay, it gives me time though. It's not immediate. <laughs> Two times blacksmith's whetstone and five times armorer's scrap. Nice. I don't really know how to use those yet, but I'm assuming that's good. As was said earlier, it is almost impossible to die until you get to Marvale. After that, until F3, you just need to watch out for elites. Okay. Trap boxes play that little sound before they go off. So there's a timer. Okay, that's good to know. It won't just immediately blow up. Purifying flame. Wait, what? Oh, it's a spell. Okay, we're gonna take that. All right, so like this one. This one is what I want, right, Gary? It has red, green, blue. They're not connected, but this would be one that I could sell for a chromatic orb. They aren't linked, okay, so they have to be linked. Okay, I got it. Now, this one's linked, but it's not red, green, blue. It's green, blue, green. I see. Yep, I can see it. Yeah, that definitely helps. Whoa, okay. Big boy chest. We got a big boy chest. Okay, let's do it. Wait, is this Marvale? No, this is Ambrosia. Oh, I died. Oh, fuck, I died. God damn it. 
<laughs> I didn't even realize it for a second. <laughs> Thought I got like an achievement. Instead I died. Fuck. Uh, when was my last checkpoint? Did she drop anything good? No death penalty in part one. What happens after part one? Oh god. Okay. Uh, is this the same floor that I'm on right now? I don't know. Uh, I think I went this way? Yeah, okay, we're right here. Okay, I didn't lose it. Oh my god, we're right here. That was not a big deal at all. Part 2 equals negative 5% experience. Uh, the mallet is part. Oh, you're right, it is. Uh, end game is negative minus 10% experience. Cannot lose levels. Okay, that's good. That's good at least. Um, I don't think I need any of this. My inventory is getting pretty full, so I should start being more selective. I could also portal back to town at any point. The only problem with this little thing that pops up is I can't see the, the, the enemies. It kind of blocks my view. It kind of blocks my view, which is a bit annoying. Die, 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 die. Alright. Oh boy, what is that? What is that? I see an aura like that and I get scared. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, it's a boss. Okay. You die rather well. I missed every single one. Oh my god, I'm dying. Alright, that was a bit rough. Um okay. After D2, I see a, I see a circling aura like that and I immediately think I'm gonna die. All flame ember of untainted beasts. Pack monsters reward greatly increased experience. Okay. I'm gonna save that for when experience is harder to come by. Right? Oh, what is this? Acceleration shrine. Ooh, look how fast I am. Fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> I'm fast as fuck. Don't need that. God damn. I'm too fast. You need to use those embers fairly quickly. They cannot be used if there's a greater than 10 level difference between the ember and the zone level. Okay, let's just use it now then. Oh, I can't use it. Oh, I probably have to use it before I enter a zone. What is this? Another speed shrine? Oh no, never mind. That was a weird visual. Who is this? Another boss, okay. Alright. Oh, I'm stuck to the wall. Oh wow, that's a lot. Okay, that is a lot. Uh, oh, am I really gonna look at all this? Iron ring, no. No. Okay, none of this is better than what I have. No. None of that's better than what I have. What's up, BK? It's going good. It's going good. Uh, I'm having fun. We're just making our way through. Hasn't been too hard yet. That's a rogue exile. Wait, you use it when you transition zones with the lantern. Right, okay. They're meant to be like other uh, like other players gone bad. Oh, wait, that's what that boss was? Was a rogue exile? Oh, that's cool. I get that, okay. Interesting. So that was essentially like this, um, in the lore, that was essentially the same kind of person I am. They just went rogue, I guess, okay. NPCs who use players' abilities and appearances. That's really cool. That's like in Dark Souls. With the summons, you can like summon certain characters to fight and it's not not uh, not real people, but you guys know what I'm saying. Like the Dung Eater in Elden Ring. 
I see a ghost. I saw that ghost. They also drop one item from each equipment slot. To simulate killing another player and stealing his gear. Who is this ghost that keeps backing up? Is she leading me? I have so much I wish to share with you. Narveel's Lair. Do you plan on using any loot filters? They might help you get through tons of loot. I am using them. I am currently using uh, level two Never Sync. Uh, yeah. I don't know at what point I'll step that up to three, but we'll see. All right, here we go. Damn it, I didn't have my banner charged. Oh shit, Marvale is rich. Marvale, I'll replace your husband. Don't worry. Oh god. Oh, I walked right into that. Okay. You're not that ugly. I mean, not too great either, but. <laughs> Hold on. I walked right into that. All right. Okay, I'm being an idiot. Put that down. Uh oh. Alright, good. So she does have minions. Ooh, I'm gonna die. This will help me get me get stacks on my my uh, banner. I didn't mean to use that. It's actually not easy. Oh, I put it on the clock. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna face tank. I'm gonna face tank. I can do it. I can do it. I can outpower her. I can overpower. I can overpower. Yes. I'm gonna die. There's a bunch of uh, scarily erotic women chasing me. Oh, she's still alive. Oh, now she's nasty looking. Never mind. <laughs> oh wow, she's got a lot of health. Okay. Okay. Just attack. Oh, fuck. oh my god. Oh, I'm being an idiot. I'm being an idiot. Get out, get out, move, 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 move. Oh, no. Shit, 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 shit. I'm gonna die. I'm walking right into her attacks. Oh, no. I gotta go slower. I just gotta pay more attention to where I'm walking. Take my time. She's dead. She's dead. I can face tank her. It's overpower. Overpower! Ooh, okay, that was close actually. We stand at death's door. Achievement complete the star of Rayclast. Damn. Still would though. <laughs> Welcome to phase two. So, I, so am I? Am I like officially past the tutorial then? That's <laughs> that's love's truer face. <laughs> am I officially past the uh, tutorial? Did I get a better axe? No, I did not. I did get a good ring. The tutorial is the whole campaign. Oh, that's right. That's right. You did say that last time. You did say that. Okay. Well. I took that. I took that sea witch down. Uh, is any of this worth grabbing? I don't think so. These are all just rares. Wait, what does the red mean? Uh, it means it's unidentified. I see. Nine acts to go. Holy shit. The real challenge is to get through the forest in one piece. Because them monkeys. 
them monkeys. I'm going to leave all this. It feels weird leaving all these, like, yellow items, but I'm, I'm going to. I, I'll take this. I believe in traveling light. Ah, son of a bitch. Let me identify this. Let me see what this is. Oops, wrong button. Uh, okay, armor is way less, but it gives me 15% cold resistance, 17% lightning resistance, 13% increased stun and block recovery, and reflects set. Okay, we're using this. I'm using this. That's better. I think that's gotta be better. Oh no! Uh, is there nowhere I can put this? To help me level it? I guess not. Well, damn it. My inner loot goblin cries in disbelief. I, I mean, I don't think I need any of this. I don't think I do. I might be being an idiot, but I don't know. I don't. Can always get weapons for your weapon swap and then level the, oh, you're right. I forgot about that. Oh, you can level the gems in the swap. So you don't need to uh, actually have the swap active. So I can do this. Can't quite get my head around this one. So I can do. Oh, I can't use any of this. Oh, it's unidentified. That's why. Well, I don't want to waste my last scroll of wisdom. It's fine. We're leaving it for now. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. That was cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Get this, and I'm gonna go back to town really quick. Oh, oh I'm in Act Two. I can't go back. Oh, I can go back to Act One. Okay, so I can I can go between the two acts very easily. All right, I'm gonna go back to Lion Eye. I'm gonna sell some stuff. We're gonna clear up my inventory. It's gonna be good. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Uh, let me put this right here. I just want everyone to know who may not have watched me play D2. I have a really bad tendency to hoard items. And I am not the best at organizing my stash. I just want to make sure everybody's aware <laughs> that I'm aware that this is something I'm not very good at. I'm gonna try my best to start off organized in this game so it doesn't get out of control. That's really good. I'm gonna use this. Where's my Paula ring? Power ring. We're gonna switch that. The paid stash tabs are very good at organizing shit. Like, very good. You should have seen my stash after Act 1. Same rule as D2, basically. Everything you get on your first run through the game will inevitably be trash. That's something I have to remind myself. You are nowhere near ADHD enough for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was pretty bad in D2 for a while, and then I took time to actually organize it. All right. Also, is it the same in D2 where if I don't identify something and I try and sell it, I'll, it will be worth less? Or is it worth the same amount, if it's even if it's unidentified? Okay. Put these over. These gems. Try and keep these organized if I can. No, correct. Uh. It vendors for different shit if unidentified. Not ID'd, you receive transmute shards. ID'd stuff gives uh, another orbs shards. Okay, so you get better stuff. I thought you were a fool for seeking out Mervale. Okay. A fool in love with death. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know. I am a fool Still, in love with death. You've delivered this coast from the terrors that long held sway here. We may now find some respite, and that's more than any of us could have hoped for. Okay. But please. Consider this. What have you become when even nightmares fear you? A, a badass? That's what you've become. 
Earth Shatter, Shattering Steel, Rain of Arrows, Sweep, and Lacerate. Can do Flooded Depth Quest. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see if any of these are what I want. Let's go up a few levels, see what gets added. Faster attack support. I don't think any of these are really something I'm going to be using. So I'll just take the one that I think sounds the best. Lacerate slashes twice, releasing waves of force that damage enemies they hit. Oh. Uh, swing, swings a two-handed melee weapon in a circle, knocking back monsters around the character. I like that one. Rain of Arrows fires multiple arrows into the air to land in sequence after delay, starting at the target location. Okay, nah. Shattering steel, swing an axe or sword, firing projectile. I already have that one. No, I have splitting steel. What's shattering steel? Uh, firing projectiles which shatter on impact or soon after being launched, dealing area damage in front of where they shatter. Wait a second. Am I using what I'm supposed to be using? Hold on. Let me go back down a few levels. It has me using Spectral Throw. What is Spectral Throw? I need to find that. I'm not even using the right main ability. Press U to open the map, then click on that quest to show where it's located, okay. See if ne yeah, I'm going to see if Nessa has one for sale because that's... I didn't even realize I wasn't using the right thing. I'll take Earth Shadow. That sounds cool. Uh, sell. I don't know what to do with these empty flats, so I'm going to sell them. Sell this ring. I'm going to keep that ring. Okay. While we live, we are blessed. All right, let me get some of this other stuff out of my inventory. All right, let me get these in here. And then I'll go back and I'll see if Nissa has what I want. I don't know why I have these bottles. Don't be scared if you choose wrong skill gems and quests. You can always buy the skill gems at the vendors at any time. Also, please don't sell flasks just like that. Okay, wh okay, what did I do wrong? <laughs> uh, please help me understand. What do the what do the flasks do? Do they automatically replace these when I use these? Selling three of the same flasks is oh gives one flask of higher level. I got it. Okay. All right. So sell them in groups of three. Yes. All right, so what did I need? I needed, I need spectral throw. Let's see if I can tell what it looks like. It's like green. It's green and it looks like a sword and another sword. Um, let's see if I can see it. it? No, Spectral Helix. Oh yeah, con Control F. Oh, there you go. Spectral. My cap stock is on. Throw. Found it. I don't have any scrolls of wisdom. Are you kidding me? Wait. Also a hint. There's a search box the bottom of the buy tab. You can start to write the name of the skill. Okay, yeah. You do in your stash. Goodbye. Do I? Oh, I do. I have one. D 
didn't I also have... Oh, I see. Okay, so I have one. Wow, so I can buy exactly one thing. Yes. Uh, where was it? Ah. Uh, spectral... There we go. Spectral throw. Got it. Alright. Now let me make sure I put this on here correctly. Vendors in town will pull currency from your stash if it's not in your bag. Oh, that's really good to know. Thank you for telling me that. Alright, so get rid of splitting steel. Spectral throw, what does it do? Throws a spectral copy of your melee weapon. It flies out and then returns to you in a spinning attack that damages enemies in its path. Oh, fuck yeah. And then what am I supposed to have attached to that? Chance to bleed support and volley support. I'm level... Okay, I'm like level... F I'll put it up to like 17 to see where I'm supposed to go. So I have a uh, chance to bleed, but but volley support can't be connected yet. So I gotta get a better axe at some point. There'll be time for that soon enough. All right, let me look where that quest is. Get that up. Uh, I'm assuming it's where this question mark is. Let me go there. Uh, let, me, let me go teleport. I'll go do this quest really quick. Wait, is this where I teleported to? Oh, I guess so. Oh. Uh. Okay, interesting. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Okay, that's cool. I'm literally throwing my weapon. That's so cool. Oh, I like that. That's cool. I like that better than what I was using. That's way more satisfying. <laughs> that's so cool. Portal scroll. Take that. Oh, my ass. Alright, so I need to find the door to go to where I'm supposed to go here. It's definitely a slower attack, but it seems to be doing more damage. I just have to be better at aiming it. I remember when Spectral Throw got added to the game 10 years ago, greater than 10 years ago, good times. It's a cool ability, watching your weapon fly out and come back to you. There's something satisfying about it. Now, does it go all the way as far as I put my mouse? Yeah, it does. Okay, I'm just gonna plow my way through this place. All these enemies are probably quite a bit lower than me, I think, at this point. I got a scroll of wisdom, that's really good, I needed that. Flooded depths. Okay, I found it. Nice. Uh, sea spawn, shield crabs, drifting eyes, zombies, water elementals, and skeletons. Interesting. Let's do it. I hear a zombie. Die, bitch. What's my FPS? 140? Okay. Portal scroll, take that. What am I supposed to do here? Kill the Dweller of the Deep. Ooh, I like that, the Dweller of the Deep. Davy Jones. The plate vest, uh, no. I should maybe increase my um, loot filter. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, they blow up? Did they blow up or something? I don't know shoot stuff. Chain belt. Don't need that. That was kind of a waste of my uh, my banner. 
wasn't totally worth it. That's a one-handed axe. Damn it. I need a two-handed axe. I haven't found an axe upgrade since the very beginning of the game. Whoa! <laughs> the giant crab just attacked me. Filters also automatically get more strict as the zone level raises. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. I am just demolishing everything in here. Blacksmith's West Stone. Oh. Dweller of the Deep. Whispering essence of hatred. The monster is imprisoned by powerful essences. Do I have what I need to open this? All right, here we go. All right, we're doing it, I guess. We're doing it. Uh, where's his help? Oh, he's almost dead. That was easy. <laughs> I thought that might have been hard. That was easy. Whispering Essence of Hatred. Upgrade to normal item to rare with one guaranteed property. Properties restricted, restricted to level 35 and below. Uh, let's see. A two-handed melee weapon. It adds two to three to six to seven cold damage. I would totally use that on my axe if I actually had the axe I wanted. Uh, leather cap, we'll check that out. Let me see, let me check out this, oh, I don't. I probably shouldn't waste. Evasion rating, 11% increased global accuracy, 7 to fire resistance, 11 to cold. Reflects 1 physical damage to melee attackers. No, this is not this is not what I want. Uh, let's see, wait. You get at least 5 plus levels higher than the area. Oh, I'm at least 5 plus levels higher than the area, I see. You can use it on a new axe when one drops. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that for that, for sure. So naturally everything dies by your sneeze, yeah. I, w I was saying that last week, I was like, it does feel good in, in, in Path of Exile being able to go back to older areas and just be an absolute god. I do like that. I think there's something good about that. You can also vendor orbs of transmutation for four ID scrolls, oh. Oh, that's really good to know. So you can vendor a few if you have some to spare. Oh, that's really good. Okay, good. All right, good. That makes me feel better. Let me use a portal. Go back to town. Oh, I got to go say goodnight. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Why does the soundtrack of, of Lion Eye remind me of the main Requiem for a Dream song? Requiem for a Dream song. I don't remember it off the top of my head. I miss the original Lion Eye watch music. Okay, is it weird to me that the menu music in this game sounds like a Call of Duty intro? Like when you're just sitting on the menu. I, look, I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, check this out. Listen. Listen to this. Hold on. There's just a specific part that sounds like Call of Duty. I played Call of Duty when I was young. Hold on. No, not yet. Not yet. I think it's this part coming up right here. That. That sounds just like Call of Duty. That do 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 do. It sounds just like Black Ops. This part. Wait. When it goes do 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 do. Okay. Sorry. I'm done. <laughs> It like triggers like some nostalgia in me from when I was a kid. I played the hell out of Black Ops. Let me actually sell this. Yes. Okay. Take care. All right. I could probably actually. Keep that ring on me for now. I don't know why. It sounded for me like the Battlefield song. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I thought it sounded like Black Ops. Killer, aren't you? That singing squid didn't stand a chance. Knew it from the first time I saw those sharp peepers of yours. Sharp peepers. Pirates it's notwithstanding. I thank you on behalf of all the fallen brethren of the waves. Okay. Now that the final cadence has been played, no one need remember. Mar Vale song. song. Mayor Vale song. First five seconds of the Lion Eye OST is surely taken from the Re Requiem song. I don't think I know the song. Damn me. I didn't think it possible. All these souls, Mervale and her brood of consumed Mervale, the years. That they said. You've done right by those that are dead, by those who still might live. Yes, sir. You managed to kill a granddaddy crab. <laughs> granddaddy you crab. Out of the caves for us. Could have made quite the chowder out of it. Ooh, that would be good. No matter. We've got one less reason to fear the dark, and I've, I've got, got one more thing to think. One more thing to think for. What's he gonna give me? Grants a passive skill point. Oh, nice. Wait, take it. How do I take it? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, wait, which one do I put this towards? It wants me to now go down to 10 strength. Okay. All right. Boom. Easy enough. It's, uh, it sounds almost identical to Lux Eterna song. I'm having PTSD now from the memories. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, what's next? I don't really have any quests on my board. So do I just travel... Oh, wait, wait, wrong way, sorry. Do I just travel back to Act 2 then? I don't know there's really anything else I can do here. Okay, Act 2. Um... I do need a better axe. Alright. I'm not going to worry too much about which gems I have right now um, until I start struggling, probably. Alright, Act 2. Here we go. Ready, Exile! It is time to hunt! Damn. Your main objective is to get to Act 2 Village. Okay. Einar Beastmaster. Oh, he looks cool. That look in your eye 
I recognize it. A survivor. Just like Aina. That is my name, Exile. Aina. <laughs> In my native tongue, it means lone fighter. So is he that one is of um, Quam or but it is dangerous Ka Kam, to fight alone. Kam's people? Too dangerous. Even for like, is he one of the Aina. natives? We are in the final days of this world, Exile. No, okay. That, I am sure, we survivors must unite, prepare for the end, and delay, and delay its, arrival. its arrival as long as we can. That, we will need supplies, weapons, shelter. This land is dying, but even a rotting is carcass the land has actually its dying? Yes. Then it is settled. We will make rotting carcasses. And use them to produce Wait, the tools we but will even need a rotting carcass has its uses. But only the finest rotting carcasses will do. What the Aina fuck? Is not picky, but I cannot say the same for the first ones. Okay. There are a few beasts nearby, Exile. Special beasts. We will find them. We will fight them. Okay. I will catch them. You will enjoy the fruits of my labor. We will, we will be, be best friends. We will be best now, friends. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> He's just he's just like, hey, come kill things with me and be my best friend. Okay. Sure. Einar equals Giga Chad. Uh conceive the Act 2 vendor has a good white axe for sale if one doesn't drop. Can use the essence on it. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. The Marauder character is one of the natives. Oh really? I'm one of the natives? Welcome to Pokemon. <laughs> Gotta kill them all. What are these things? Blood Chieftain. Did I just level up again? I did. We got some carnivorous plants. That's cool. Uh, okay, so now I actually think it diverges. I think we have to go both ways. Which way does it go first? Okay, so first it goes left. All right, we're going to go down to life. 6% increased maximum life. Pretty straightforward. Oh, wow. I'm actually dying. Damn bloody monkeys. Oh, I'm a duelist. That's right. I am a duelist. Sorry. This reminds me of Act 3 D2. Who's attacking? Okay. Can I walk in? Oh, you can walk in. Orb of alchemy. Nice. I like that sound. That oh, crimson muzzle. We got an elite or a boss or something. Best friends, beast. Until we slaughter you. What the fuck? This guy is wild. Okay. We will be best friends, beast, until we slaughter you. <laughs> and he gives a crazy ass laugh. Meat Striker. Okay, we gotta catch all these things, I see. I'm out of mana. Okay, he's a mana pot. Off you go, little beast away. Oiled vest. Uh, I can't use that. I don't have enough dexterity. Um... No, nothing's better than what I have. Duelist is like Doreso, the guy who banged Mar Marvail. Goddamn. Uh, you damage the beast and Einar throws nets at them to catch them. I see. Originally, you had to buy and throw nets, but they reworked it and made Einar handle all the nets. Well, that's much easier. So essentially, duelists are kind of like the rogues in this game. Kind of like rogues, though, it seems like. Oh, okay, wait a second. Hold on. Let's focus up. Simple. All right. I was attacking my own totem. I thought this was a monster for a second. My bad. Shadow is more like rogue. Ain't Chainmail Tunic has linked RGB slots. Wait, what did I miss? 
chain mail to me. It has red, blue, blue. And this one has green, green, blue. I should probably stop wasting my mana. My banner out. That's cool by a colorblind man. No, <laughs> I just double check. I will say having the bigger UI definitely helps. Oh boy. Oh my God. It has the same aura as D2. It has might. It's got might. Run. Is that what it has? What does it have? I'm trying to read its aura. It's uh, it's augments, but I can't. Extra physical damage, extra cold damage, run. Did Einar die? No. He's still got him here somewhere, right? Come on. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Heal. We're almost there. Oh, no, there he is. There's Einar. I can't do this just yet. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. New recipe unlocked. What is a recipe? I gotta level all these up. Substantially increased physical damage aura. So yes, it's basically like might. Interesting. Damn. Einar's got a cool weapon. Holy shit. I gotta look at these. Um, let's just grab everything that looks interesting and then I'll compare it. Uh, Salet. That's a helmet. I don't... I'll grab it. I'll grab it. Heavy belt. Grab that. Ooh, 35 of strength. That's gonna be good. Portal scroll. Uh, it's not linked. Plague mask. Alright, let me look at everything I picked up. Uh, so it's more armor. It increases my dexterity, increases my intelligence. Ah, uh, that's not as good. The one I have right now has less armor, but it gives me more resistances. Now, hold on a second. I think what I have now is better. Beast crafting. You use the captured beast to make shit by killing them in a 4v1 arena. Oh, really? Basically, you slaughter, then cook those monsters, and by cooking them, you make stuff. So it's like Monster Hunter. <laughs> oh, wait. What do I identify? Let's do the belt. 35 to strength. 6% uh, reduced enemy stun threshold. Hmm. How much does this affect my DPS? It reduces, all right, we're going back to what I had. My DPS is better with this one. And now I can't identify the Steel Greaves, okay. Uh, I'll sell these, I might as well just keep them for now. All right, moving on. What is this? What, oh, this is my next capture, okay, I see. His meat crawler. Well, wow, he was much easier than that spider. We will be best friends, beast. Much we easier than that spider. <laughs> okay. Oops, I didn't mean to use that. Damn it. Kill the monkey. See the monkey? Kill the monkey. The last one was red. Red beasts are scary as fuck. Yeah, that was that was a significantly greater challenge than the other ones. I've already explored this whole path. Okay, we gotta go this way. Uh, oh, it goes up here. I see where it goes. Wait a second. There's also a path back here. Ooh, secret path. Oh boy, he's got might. Come on, 
hit him. Stone tusks. He's attacking my totem. That was a great hunt, Exile. That was a great hunt. Oh, that's the last one. Okay. Um, anything worth my time? Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. It will surprise you to learn that I am not popular. That does surprise me. The others here are ignorant. They are. They do not see the end coming. They are not survivors like me. Or you. You'd be my friend, Before Einar. Met, I kept beasts in the encampment. They got into the grain, then the meat. They were not as picky as Einar about where they did their business. Oh, God. I learned that rowers do not digest rower meat very well. Okay. So I moved them to a new location. The menagerie. Far away. It is a secret place. This is where we will perform the ritual for the first ones. I ritual have built a for blood the first altar ones. for such a purpose. Do you wish to see it? Yes. Tell Aina. You will be taken. Of course I want to see that. Uh, visit menagerie. Oh, this is what you were talking about, Gary. I see. This, so I can make, um... Welcome to Aina's menagerie. I can make weapons here. This is where I keep the beasts we capture. Do not worry about their well-being. I do not think they will worry about yours. <laughs> <laughs> A little humor for you. <laughs> but seriously, Exile. Aina takes very good care of the beasts we capture. I feed them, clean them, okay. and read them the poems I write. Read them the then, he tortures them. When you are ready, we slaughter them at the blood altar to okay. prove to the Fair enough. that we are worthy of survival. Fair enough. That, that part is not so friendly to the beasts. But, but if you read my poetry, you may consider it an act of mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Again, okay. humor. <laughs> my okay. poetry Do not feed the animals. just north. That is the blood altar. It is where you will perform the ritual of sacrifice by combat. Okay. Once you have captured a few beasts, go to the altar in the middle and be All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, let me sell some things. Okay. Let's go let's go to the altar. I want to try this. Am I going the right way? It must be up this way. It's got to be up this way. You can go there via the world map waypoints. Okay. All right. Blood altar. Let's do it. But I can level up. Hold on. Golem's blood. 10% increased maximum life. Regenerate 1.6% life per second. Let me just... I'm pretty sure this is what's next. Yes, it is. Let's do it. All right. So, create a unique item. So I have three rare creatures. Bestiary. So I can read about animals. Does it give me any kind of indication? Oh, I only have the crab? You just click on the recipe to load up the animals you're using. Okay. What? Oh, oh, okay, I see, I see. Recipes you've unlocked. Create a unique item. Wait, 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 wait. What am I... Click item. Okay, I did that. So it tells you what mobs get summoned. Okay. Oh shit, sharp sucker might kill me. I might not be able to do this. So I can swap one of these out for stone tusks. I should maybe change uh, sharp sucker because sharp sucker might kill me. <laughs> oh, I can't. Damn it. All right, uh, 
Okay, so this is oh, I see. This is the recipe. Rare three rare rare, rare creatures and one savage crab. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, I'm going to die. This is this is crazy. Okay. Okay, this is intense. Oh my god. Get my, let me get my uh, banner back. Summon my totem. I'm just gonna have to whittle them down. Just whittle them down. I'm gonna die. If I die, do I have to start over? I assume I do. Fuck, 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 fuck. Just whittle them down. We have a, what happens if I face tank? Okay, I die pretty quickly if I face tank. Don't want to do that. Alright, we just have one left. Of course it's Sharp Sucker. It was actually a crab, not a spider. Oh my god. Alright, we win. We win. I am. So now what happens? Uh, I don't. Okay, so. Oh, here we go. Carved wand. Are you fucking kidding me? I thought I'd at least get to pick what kind of weapon. Well, that sucks. I don't want a wand. What the fuck? I'm just gonna sell this thing. Uh, what kind of weapon is this? Is this a, a, a unique ass collar? <laughs> is this a unique? Is that why it's the color it is? Yeah, it's unique. Anything crazy about this? 25% chance to trigger level 10 summon raging spirit on kill. Has 24 to 30 fire damage. Absolutely not. Okay, then I'm just gonna sell it. <laughs> the crunch of bone, the splatter of blood. Is there anything as satisfying? You have proved, proved you are a survivor, and the first ones have rewarded you. Capture more beasts, Capture perform more, more, beasts, more rituals. Perform okay. More rituals. This is what we makes sense. Let me sell this to him. All right. Perfect. See you. See you. All right, let's head back. All right, we're making good progress. We're in act two, I gotta find the town. All right, dead end. I'm kind of sad he's not following me around anymore. That was kind of fun. Tribal chest. Hallow thug, wait, are those humans? That is a human. I need that scroll of wisdom. Scrolls of wisdom are very hard to come by, and they're essentially just the currency in this game too, which is interesting. It's like if I identify scrolls in D2 or the currency. Einar can randomly appear in standard zones in the game now. And does he help you? That's cool. Forest encampment. Here we go, found it. There'll be time for that soon All right, enough. We found the town. Okay, cool. Waypoint. Alright. Let's talk to people. Lord Humongous. <laughs> Can I inspect people? Whisper, trade, invite to hideout. Wait, I have a hideout? I'm gonna invite Lord Humongous to my hideout. I don't even know how to get to my hideout. Aramir Groost? You don't have one, okay. So are these guys the uh, natives? They look pretty native. They got bone necklaces. That's a pretty 
I native thing to have. I hunt boar, hunt to feed my people. Okay. You are not a friend to us. You need to run faster than boar. Oh shit, is he gonna kill me? The natives are dark skinned and have tattoos. Okay. So, so they're just posers. Wait, join PvP? Blood apes. They fall from trees, try to swarm over you like fleas. Mm -hmm. Their chieftain, stand back when he beats his chest. Bark is worse than bite. Okay. So I can talk to him to do PvP. Travel That's interesting. Far. What is that noise? Aramir. I have seen many an exile come and go. Into the forest or into the ground. You seem different somehow. I am different. I'm the chosen different one. Different good, different bad. It's hard to tell at this stage. Okay. The name is Eramir. And for now, you have the benefit of my doubt. Well, he likes me more than the other guy. Those bandits you've it's someone's MTX there, effect. They're the dregs of our life. And with any foul broth, the nastiest chunks bubble to the surface. Uh-huh. The nast that's a <laughs> That's a gross way of saying that. God damn the nastiest chunks. The, the Lords of Larceny, Oak, Cratine, and Alira, the self appointed monarchs of the forest. Cratine is the east. Alira in the west, Oak in the north, and this village, this tribe, we pay their taxes. Oh, so they got bad dudes. I would never venture to say that life in work rate class is easy, but with those three gone, well, living here. Okay. Alright, so he wants me to go kill their, uh, their overlords. Okay. There you will. Got it. Oh, wow, there's a lot of quests to pick up. Why is this guy green? You and me, we are the same. We are? We dream big. Yes, we do. We find new places. We do not tell stories. Yeah. Stories are told about us. Okay. We learn the words, the ways of Oria. You listen to me. And not pig heads like Bruce. Then you will live to find more good places. The road. Okay. It runs east and west of here. To the west, it passes the bandit woman's camp. Then turns south to the sea. But you say it is now blocked. I have seen a strange thing in the rock by that south pass. Like one of Grust's carvings, but of stone. You should go look at you it. Go look at it. Okay. Hello. H hello. Nina. I'm Nina, keeper of the spirit. Okay. Are you a kind exile like Ermi? He is good to us, helps us. You will stay and help us too, yes? No, no, I got too much to do. In her dreams, a great white beast, tortured and maddened by bad men, a long time gone. She will come here one night to tear, crush, and eat. Her pain tells her to find the white find beast the white and end her pain. And end. Okay. Goodbye. Is that all the quests? Please tell me that's all the quests. That was a lot to pick up. It's a pretty small town. That man has some weird fetishes. Silk? <laughs> yeah, he seemed kind of weird. Okay. Well, I guess this is a good stopping place for the night. Uh, we made it to the town in Act 2. And yeah. Made some good progress. What level am I now? I'm level 17. Holy shit, I didn't realize that. I went from level 12 to 17. Damn. But yeah, it was a good night. I got a lot done. Um, I will be I will be on I'll be playing again tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be back on tomorrow. So, um, but yeah, I appreciate everyone hanging out. It was a fun night, and I will see you next time. Have a good night, everyone. Peace.